All right, howdy, folks. Welcome back to the Taylor Burst of the Show series. Let me move up to the top left. Okay, there we go. <laughs> Hello, everybody. Welcome back to the Taylor Burst of the Show series, and it'll be 23 PS5 episode. Ah, I'm starting to lose count. Two, 296, maybe? 297, I think. Yeah, 297. Um, dub against the Cardinals in the last one. We are above 500 for the first time. Um... I don't know. We have been above 500 before, but let's hold on to that. We have the Reds next um, in Cincinnati, a team we don't get to see that often. What do they got rocking for them? They have Mackenzie Gore, who was a good signing, you'd think, maybe. He's had a really rough year, though. Ryan Rolison, uh, Domingo Soriano, Andrew Abbott, and Seth Corey. So an all right rotation. Yon Duran's a great closer. Um, all right. Pretty average-looking pitching staff. And then Jay Allen leads them off. This dude is a phenomenal fielder uh, out in center field. He does not have the best bat, but isn't the worst. Um, has not had a good season, though, but he hasn't made an error in the last three years. Uh, Edwin Arroyo, a great fielding shortstop. This has to be one of the best fielding teams in baseball. George Valera, DHs. Alec Thomas is an incredible fielding left fielder. Jim Bingham's got an extremely strong arm. Why did they have him at second base? Who knows? Heston Kierstad, Cabrian Hayes. <laughs> Cold. All right. Oh, my gosh. Look at this dude. This is the best fielding team I've ever seen. And they're ranked fifth on defense, huh? That don't make no sense to me. Either way, let's go get some wins. We lose one, win one. Um, stamina. If stamina is ever on the table, you gotta take it. We go two and two. Chance finally won his game, and he's up to four and two. And it looks like Chance threw great. Uh, Gilbreth tried to blow it there, but Chance is starting to get his stuff going, so that's good. We throw the first game. Of May, we were 6-0 and in our games pitched in um, March and April, and now we aim to go 7-0. and Let's do it. Hello and welcome. Thanks for joining us. Interleague Baseball on MLB The Show. It's the Seattle Mariners going up against the Cincinnati Reds. John Shambi along with Chris Singleton. We got a rubber hey, this song kind of slaps, but I'm going to get demon demonetized. So... Let's get out of here. Ryan Rallison on the mound for the Reds. Gets a 1-2-3. We're still missing Gunner. Still some growing to do as a team, but a chance here to get two games above 500 and a couple winning episodes, although they're only three and twos. They do add up. Allen, not usually going to take you deep, but it's a decent swing on for some base hits. Scattered out. The cutter is down the line. Good play, Joaquin Rodriguez. One down. Here's how we line up on defense. Nothing too crazy. No Michael Harris out in the field. It'll be J-Rod and Leody Tavares. I'm cool with that. Stotts back out. He didn't play second for us last game. And first offering is fouled off. And a pitch. And he lays down a bunt. Taylor plays it. Not a single chance you're going to make that out. Great bunt by Edwin Arroyo. Here's George Valera with one on, one down. Bayo is only .05 behind Taylor this year. Oh, I thought he did it. Does have 86 power. And one and two. He got away with one there, but he knows he can't go into that spot very often against a guy like this. Tries to check his swing. There you Alec go. Two third. down. And that's ruled a swing. It's a strikeout. Alec Thomas now. And there's.
here's the strike. Got a good eye there. Oh, Alec Thomas. What was he, a TCU product? Throughout history, the fastball down has been the most successful pitch. Multi-sport athlete. He'll pop this one into center. Petey's there. And that'll end the first. Nice. Let's get some runs. Not here. Welcome back. Bottom half of inning number two. In now for the Reds, Jim Bingham. First pitch. That is a strike. But it's okay. Oh, Jim Bingham. Just missed. He's been raking in recent games and a big reason why. Cannon of an arm at second base. Doesn't really. It's not used to its max effect while he plays second, but it still has its uses. Turning two or throwing in from a cut. Squeezes it. One up, one down. Just pulled off of it a little bit right there. That front shoulder. There's Heston Kirstab. If he does that, he's going to be able to go up the middle the other way with some authority instead of a fly out to left. Strike two. All right, now he may have not liked either of those first two pitches or agreed with the umpire's calls, but at this point, he's going to have to bear down. Right, it's be ready popped to get into center. PD is under it and has it. Two down. And that quickly, two away. Now batting Keith Ryan Hayes. Rolled softly. But and Brian Hayes foul. steps up. An NL Central, what did Second that say? Here, what? No score. Ah, I didn't get to see that. When did he win his gold glove? Uh, in this 2022? I don't know. Anyways, an NL Central lifetimer as he finishes up what was his last season, I guess, with the Pirates. He's been playing with them since 2020, so a decade, 11 years, 11 seasons with them, and he signs a three-year deal with the Reds, I guess, to finish out his career. He's had a great career as well. Left field. Pops that one up. Settles under it. Me, 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 and that me. is the third out of the inning. Potential 2,000 hit guy. Nobody left for Cincinnati. We'll move. See if we can get something going. That a boy, Leody. Haven't really Cincinnati. seen him in the lineup much, but he gets to that one. One nothing, Mariners. On the outside corner. Ramirez, 33 years old. And he's been on a good run at the plate, hitting over 300 in his last 10 games. Kicks and fires. So Miguel Ramirez takes outside. Got him swinging. Couldn't catch up to the heater. Came inside with that two strike fastball nicely One down. and just bunched him up on the inside part of the plate. Couldn't get around on it and catch it out front. Many times on if you do, the it's ground, it's playable you know, for Stott. Really and that'll like be an easy second out. Because they do not want to hit that Looking good. And when they've got him up against the ropes, got to figure out a way to put him away. Did a nice job right there. Allen, the next We're not getting the low call on. today, are we? And a bunt towards third. And Taylor will be beat and a second time a by a bunt. Single. Edwin Arroyo, the next to hit for the Reds. And first That's not Reyes a good pitch. Off. Allen, off of first with two away. And off goal. he goes. And, and thankfully, ball. Edwin swung. He was safe. I don't expect two straight steal attempts, and we won't get it. In the air, right field. Not our best pitch there, but it's just popped up to Tavares, and he's got it. And do it. End of the third. Leave one. Bottom four, and now the DH, George Valera. Brooks, back to work. There's a strike. Well, Finally Reds, got the low call. This game goes on. Have to be more disciplined at the plate. So many of their outs have come from weak contact on pitches. Valera gets into one. Zone. This ballpark tends to 
That's been true again today. Not keep many balls in. But it does there. Tavares chases it down. That's popped up. This is a lot of trouble. No, Cole Young. Good looking play there. Bingham in the box here. Let's that one go for a ball. Next pitch no, is inside, and the count is 2-0. Oh. Kick, Sandios. 2-0, oh. strike one. Great pitch. Two, two. On the ground, Joaquin Rodriguez is there. It's four scoreless so far for Taylor. We lead by one heading into the fifth. Nothing rolling for the Mariners offensively outside of the solo shot. Inside just missed. And that one fouled off. Here comes a pitch. Line drive. That is into the left, and it's playable for J-Rod. Man, that's one of those at bats where you have to remind yourself it's about the process. You did everything right right there. Nothing to show for it. But in your mind, you have to convince yourself that it was a very good at bat. The one. We're getting hit harder lately. It's been at people, so that's been nice. Tough guy to strike out here in Cabrian. But we do, looking. Strike three called on a slider at the knees. Well, he went up there trying to be aggressive, that's for sure. Hacking at those first two pitches, but clearly that last one fooled him. He could have been sitting on something else entirely, but you want to be able to adjust on 0 and 2 0 and at least get a swing off when it's in the zone. Maybe choke up, maybe spread out your stance a little bit. You got to give the guy credit on the mound, though. He went right after it. Just try to beat him with a fastball. How did you touch that? See how the catcher wanted that pitch up and in. Want to try to tie him up. That's the one thing we're seeing. That high fastball. You have to and the slider will get him. So a couple out, Ks there for Taylor one, two, in the three, inning. Go the they still I need a little down. more run support here to kind of confirm that we're going to be good, you know? Three. Dang it, man. Bottom of the six. Now it's going to be Terrell Berger. Darrell Berger hitting 120 on the air. This is not the guy you want to start the inning if you're the Reds. I won't get that one to go very far with the bat almost drill Bobby in the leg, but it'll just be a pop out and we will turn the lineup over. It'll be the third time through. The offense needs to start showing some fight against this starter. He's doing his thing out there. They're going to have to push back at some point and make him work a little bit harder. It really looks like these hitters have been in between with their timing today. Good fastball, excellent slider. That has popped out. Able to commit to one Joaquin, not Joaquin, there. Julio Rodriguez has it. Pitch count stays low for Taylor. Here's Edwin Arroyo. He bunted for a hit earlier. The alone two hits on the day for the Reds have been via bunt. So 1-2, the slider. Is hit hard. Cole Young right there, firing to first. Got him. It's another one, two, three for Taylor. Nobody left for Cincinnati. Still behind. Please score. Nope. Bottom of the seventh. Now it's the DH. And by four. Most dangerous bat in this lineup. George Valera steps up. Just missed. He's had. An okay start to the year. Oh, 
his bat uh, has farm. developed pretty well over the past few years. He's turned himself into a very strong player for Cleveland, and since then he signed a four-year deal with the Reds. Off to a good start with them. The order. Yeah, there's some pop there, but Taylor, Taylor falling like behind. Got to find the zone. So very important to be patient. The ground, and the Reds have their first hit into the outfield today. And the leadoff man aboard. Well, when you fall behind in the count, you've got to come into the zone, and then guys have a better chance of hitting the ball hard like you did well, right most likely not going to steal, although he does have some wheels. He goes. It's popped foul. Only two now. Got him. 95. And that's the first out. Jim Bingham, the next to hit for the Reds. And first offering is fouled off. At the belt and fires. Now one ball. and one. Way to lay off that pitch down. One ball, one strike. One one, the pitch is popped foul. Right into the Looking for a strikeout, and we got it. That is a looper if I've ever seen one. Two down. Well, interesting. He's looking very comfortable out of the stretch after giving up the leadoff single. Back-to-back -back strikeouts, so they haven't been able to move that runner off. Cusat absolutely ropes one foul. Let's go back to our cutter, hopefully freeze him. Next pitch misses. Couldn't find the zone. If you're a base runner, you've got to stay dialed in here. Look for anything in the dirt. Try your best to get in the scoring position. Kirstad very out in front. The one-two. He's been fouled off. It's on the ground. Cole's got it. Fires to Stott. And it's another scoreless frame for Taylor. He's through seven now. Can we get some runs? No. Turner doubled. I can't believe we still hit. Bobby Turner at leadoff. He has not been good the last couple of years. And it just doesn't make any sense to me. He doesn't even have the contact numbers, really. Maybe against lefties a little more, but know, it doesn't make sense to me. We get a call. First time in a long time. He's been good. Yeah, he's the type of guy that gets better as he gets deeper into the ball game. If you're going to get to him, you get to him early. They didn't do that today. We'll see what happens as this finishes. Here's the pitch. It's fouled off. It's a piece. It stays alive. Pitch count in great shape. It seems you might have a chance to finish it. That one oh. missed. One, two. Got him swing. Bye bye. Strikeout. Had him out front for strike three. So digging in, Miguel Ramirez. Who's 0 for 2 with a pair of strikeouts. In there for strike one. No ball. One strike. Fought off foul. Yeah, 0 2 to Miguel Ramirez. That slider is on the ground, played by Stott on a backhand, smooth as ever. And that is an easy out number two. We've got a real low scoring game, low action game, a pitching duel. And one that right now Taylor is just edging the Reds in. No runners in scoring position yet for the Reds, even. A missed call there. Leads us here to 2 1. And a big swing and a miss. They haven't scored yet in this. Gonna game. try the curveball. Definitely trying to get on the board. He Let's took see, it. Wow. Today. Let's see if we can find the lower corner. Now, ooh, okay. That's not the lower corner. Burger does have 70 power. A threat to go deep if he gets a hold of it. He fouls that one off. 98 from Taylor on pitch 91. A 3-2 changeup. He didn't go, and it's a walk for the Reds catcher. 
Cohen's a nice job of grinding out that at bat. Saw a lot of pitches and ends so up. We have a base runner now. Allen popped it up and fell. Right now they're looking for something hit hard. Don't hang it. Give them an opportunity with two outs to score that run from first. He ain't listen, but Jaden swing. Oh, two count. The pitch oh, is not cold. One, two, a big Swinging pitch here, and he struck him out, Allen. Throws this bat in frustration. The Reds have been blinked for eight straight innings. Can we hold on? Not much help from the offense today. But will it be enough? The one run might be all we need. Good eye right there. So, two to Arroyo. He bunts it. He's safe, and it's a third bunt single. And that's it for Taylor. They pulled him after he gave up a bunt single. A double play, Ron Marinaccio. I could kiss you right now. It's a win for the Mariners. Trusting what the catcher was putting down and trusting the guy standing behind him to make the plays defensively. Sometimes you want to see a high Let's go, game, man. You can eight innings pitched, four hits, one walk, no runs, eight Ks. Four of the three of those hits were bunts. The bunting Reds, man. Leody went deep. That was all we needed, apparently. Marnaccio closed the door, and we're we're gonna be forever thankful for that. And uh yeah, another winning episode. We go three and two. As uh, I'm happy with that. A one nothing victory. We go to six and zero on the year. A one point two three ERA, fifty one in the thirds innings pitched, seventy five Ks and a point five eight WHIP. A series against the Angels next, and then Taylor gets to duel against guess who? Max Hamilton. That'll definitely be the episode title um, when that day comes. But three and two episode sits us a half game there, half game there. All's fine. We're right in the mix of things. It's okay. If you like the video, hit the like button and subscribe to the channel. That is it for me. And I will see you all in the next one. Uh, that's Taylor Brooks episode 297 in the books.